Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Coffee Lover, and let's continue playing as the Russian FS, or SFSR, and yeah, have a good time with them. So, uh, we're still trying to beat up Mongolia, because no one likes Mongolia. Sorry, Mongolians. Uh, I should actually check if I have people who watch me from Mongolia. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll just keep going on, have a good time with the Germans, and by having a good time, I mean destroy a lot of lives, because they declared war on us. Yeah, good times, right? Our allies in Iberia have fallen, and they can't get up. Not at least until I beat the Axis up. But the British Raj is looking kind of thick against the Japanese. Wait, did they went, they went with quit India. They got Gandhi now. Oh, that might not be good uh, for the allies if the Raj decides to leave soonish. So... There's always that, but we're doing okay. Last time we had the Königsberg Pocket here. Did a great job. Right now we are reconstruing our lines because, well, it makes it a little bit more equal alongst the front to make sure that no one really gets an advantage anywhere. Um, there's a coup in Romania. Prince Michael has now instigated a coup with the aid of substantial elements of the military. Michael's announced that he has assumed the role of head of state, given and Intending to give Romania the leadership it requires. Well, you're authoritarian, Michael I. Actually, did, was he the one who passed away like a few years ago? He was still alive in Romania, but then he, you know, like everyone, he passes away eventually. But very interesting. And nothing says that the a coup like beginning to attack your enemies. Cool. Hmm. We need places to exploit, but let's take a quick look at our stockpile. We need more motorized stuff. Need more heavy tanks. Planes? Heavy fighters? Ooh, we probably don't have enough for another set of heavy fighters. Yeah. We have some regular fighters, but I really don't care for regular fighters. Uh, ooh. Oh, yes, please. Did I tell... I did not tell you to advance. I just told you to move around. We get 1.07 political power a day. Yunnan Free Empire has capitulated. Very nice. What can we do here? Ooh. Um, Mongolia is gone, and we got their equipment. I love it. Coasts, how are you doing? Can you do some... Oh, you're already doing garrison. Send them there. Send them there. That'd be nice. Cool. Uh, we have these five armies, and come back to the border with the Japanese, because if the Japanese start losing, we might want to go to war with them as well. Just saying. Ooh, but, hmm. Uh, we are building more dockyards, we're building more military factories, as well as refineries. The Soviet Union will be, hopefully, someday, the net exporter of man-made rubber. Hopefully, someday, we will be the number one exporter in the world. Anyways, uh, since you're moving down, you might as well come this way. Cool. Take half of y'all. And... Oops, I forgot to start my stopwatch to figure out uh, what the time is for, um, for how long this is going to go. So... Hopefully it won't go too on, go on too long, but just long enough. Alright, so send about half of these guys. My heavy tanks still are not ready to go at all yet. Uh, go to Allenstein, please. Very good. Very nice. Very awesome. Allenstein's looking pretty nice. Pretty not good for them. And casualties. Five million German casualties in total, in which we've delivered over half of those ourselves. The Italians are approaching two and a half as well, and Iceland has zero. Okay, then. Slovakia, Vichy, France, Romania, Legendaris, Bulgaria, Hungary. Oh, we're actually... Ooh, 1940s destroyed. Hold, nice. Send them that way. It is 1942, so it just made sense to make 1940s destroyers. Subs might be a good thing to make. Cruisers, though. Uh, let's get some more research done for destroyers, since we're definitely going to make those guys. Alright, alright. Well, we're not really winning here, which isn't good. But you know what? You can't win all the battles, and this really tires out the enemy quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Baltic... Uh, you know what? I'm going to let you keep your own divisions for now. I really don't mind if you own them, so... Well, we can't push them in, or push them back, but we can make sure that they don't push us further back, so... You win some, you lose some. Whatever. Um, ba -da -dum -bum -bum. Oh, look at that Mexican horse division. The Mexican Junta division, six cavalry battalions, as well as one support arty. Cool. 
Uh, actually, you might want to send one more this way. Can you make it down this way? Yeah, you can. Nice. Uh, but they probably are too well dug in for us to really do anything about it. Oh, we are starting to get or run out of manpower. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, just keep attacking us, guys. That's going to make you win. It looks like the Axis is actually slowly pushing Greece out of their country. Because I think they had, like, Ionia? I... Ionina. I don't know how to say Greek words. Except Athens and Greece. And Corinth. And Sparta. And Kalamanta. And Argos. Anyways. Uh, looks like the Greeks are maybe slowly losing. Maybe, maybe not. It's good to see that the Dardanelles are still okay, though. Firmly under allied hands. For now. Until I get into there. But. Whatever. That's fine. I'm just looking for places that I can exploit. Ah. Uh, I love exploiting things. I was about to say people, but let's not go there this time. Cool. Air skirmish. Nice. Better air superiority mission efficiency. I hope my actually, I really hope my video video or OBS is recording as well as my voice because I don't want to do this again like I did the other day. Uh, right now we have 52% stability. I could get improved record conditions for even more stability, but I might need a little bit more manpower. Um, a little more training time. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and do that, since we will definitely need this later on. Very good. Supplies are getting better and better. We have a, finally have a surplus of motorized equipment. Um, let's see. Apparently I just got an email from Best Buy about a TV. Well, I don't remember buying a TV, but no thanks. I don't need a new TV. Alright. Very good, very good. So... Uh, I've been playing Hoi 4 again. I love playing Hoi 4, obviously. I've, I almost play exclusively Hoi 4 on this channel. But, uh, yesterday, or I guess last night, I was playing as China. China's always an interesting country to play as in Hoi 4, just because they're such an underdog that historically they didn't exactly lose, but they didn't, they definitely did not win in China. So it was just kind of interesting trying to. Ooh, an Allied invasion. D Day's already happened. Wow. But it was very interesting. Oh, goodness. The, the Axis is trying to kill me. But it was interesting always to try to defend against a Japanese threat. Especially since you have so many warlords you either want to ally with or take out first. So, it's always interesting playing as China. Always find it entertaining, fun, because China has just so much manpower if you can unite the entire country. It's ridiculous. These guys look tired. You should help kill them off. Ah, uh, and you did. Great job, guys. Well, their assault didn't last very long. 1942... Um, more leg recovery rate. That sounds broken, to be honest. The more and more recovery rate sounds like it's just, it's just too much. The research speed probably right now is too good, honestly. But that's road at 56. What do you expect? What do you, would you expect? Ah, coffee's pretty warm, pretty hot. Not bad, not bad. Not the best coffee, but not bad. There's still so many mines in here. I don't ever mess with mines too much. Don't really see... Yeah, they have a use and all, but I don't really ever use mines. I don't know, just... I like to use my ships for what they're intended, like... They're patrol fleets. They're either patrol fleets, they're either sub... Or fleet killers, or something along those lines. So... Uh, honestly, we probably don't need to make nearly as many divisions down here... For the Asian theater. So, we're going to reduce the number that we really need. I think... A full army group of five 24 stack or 24 division armies. I think it's pretty good for Asia. I don't plan on staying in Asia here forever, so. Oh my goodness. More goo. More goos. More guys. Awesome. Leonid Golvorov. Oh, I don't want to replace you. I want to see if you have any upgrades. Level 6. What level are our generals? Well, our field marshal 7. 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6. Seems like we're either five or six, with, except for a field marshal. Oh, logistic companies three, great. 1942. Sounds like we could use maybe a little bit slightly better engineers, maybe. And it looks like there are very few Germans actually defending the border here. Huh. Interesting. Well, not really that interesting. Just good. That's very good for us. What is the manpower like of Germany? They have total war. Oh, they still got about a million manpower left. We got better guns now. Uh, what does total war mean for them? That means they get 2% more population, 
uh, consumers' goods goes down by 5%, and stability goes up by 5%. Alright, so be it. Not bad. Pretty interesting. Pretty good for them, I suppose. Uh, oh, PTRD. All infantry gets more heart attack and piercing. I like that. I like to pierce my enemies. And laboratory number two, a 300% research bonus for nuclear technology. And I need more than 300 factories. Well, we're working on that. Alright, next up. Move capital, defense of Moscow. Aviation cult. Might not be bad. It's 1942. Naval adoption. Uh, this one gives you Tuchakevsky. Tukachevsky, and allows kamikaze airstrikes. Well, I don't have that many plans. Let's go with improving our naval doctrine next. Some political power. Mm, doing better on our tanks. Let you guys come down this way. I'll let you come down this way, too. Not bad. Not bad. Mm, ten. Ten might be really actually hard to bust into. We'll send you this way. We'll send you three this way. Uh, United States? Sure. You want to come through here? Actually, United States... You are pretty communist. About 56% communist. That's pretty good in my opinion. Pretty good. Right now, we could probably use a few more factories. But I'm going to go ahead and make another set of civilian factories. So that we can trade for more rubber or aluminum or whatever we need. we got two of these. And we're still trying to build up more infrastructure. But we can probably wait on infrastructure for more ships, maybe. Because we got to start really thinking about a navy here. If I need more military factories, I'm going to put them on eh, that, and then that, that, oh yeah, definitely that. Nice. Not bad. Just a little bit of slow going, and that's okay. Ah, oh, we got Rome. Awesome. What's next? I really want to break into Romania, but they really want to break into me. And I'm okay with them trying to uh, destroy their own lives by doing this. I'm okay with that. Actually, what did I just do there? Uh, whatever. Maybe I did use my naval XP. I couldn't. I didn't know if I used my naval XP or not. Oh well. Hmm. Any way to exploit? Please tell me so. Cool. Send half y'all. Send those three divisions going north to come to here, anyways. Nice. And we did. If you didn't, if you weren't here yesterday, we are using infantry divisions for the most part that have. Seven infantry battalions and two artillery battalions. Pretty standard stuff, I would say. Mm, for you guys. We could put on support anti-air, but I'm not making any anti-air. Ooh, new guns. What would I, What would happen if I did add? Oh, you 55 more soft attack? For, whoa! Holy... That's 52... Military police gives you 71 more soft... What the heck? Maintenance companies give you 52. A um, little bit less reliability. A little more heart attack, breakthrough, and defense. Uh, why am I not using, like, military police or suppression or... 71? Actually, what's the anti-air on this? Plus 15.2? That actually might come in handy. Um, you know what? Mm, maybe I should start thinking about some uh, anti-air. Oh, wait. How about... Well, I want to compare that to rocket artillery, maybe. Uh, let's see. Rocket artillery. Enables motorized rocket artillery. Soft attack. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should look into that. I've never really used uh, anti-air in my own divisions, or very much at all, if ever. So... Yeah. That'll be interesting to use, because that could be really useful against people who have absolute anti- or absolute air uh, superiority. Even though I really need to make more uh, air support. A bigger air force. Words are hard, kids. Words are hard. Ugh. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, yeah, probably after today, I'll take a look at my analytics, just to see... Who's actually watching my videos? I think most of you guys are between the ages, like, what, 13 to, like, probably 25 or 30 or something? That's pretty much probably the prime age of which... The prime age range in which people are watching my videos. I do know that it's, like, a couple grandmas, like I said before, watching my videos as well, which is kind of weird. But I'll accept it. I'll definitely accept the stuff from grandma. Um, but, like, you know, 50s to 60s to 70s. Kind of odd. But other than that, yeah. 
Analects are such a weird thing to think about. So weird. It's like, here, you want to watch videos? All right, we want to know everything about you and your demographic. Cool. I don't know, just kind of weird to think about. You can kind of tell as a group who's watching and who's not. Why have I... I just realized I'm on a river here. Ugh, I'm kind of spaced out, I guess, today. Whew. All right, let's keep going. Infantry. Infantry buddies. Oh, I guess those are mountaineer buddies. Mountain buddies. Oh, they actually have a tank in there, too. Uh, let's see. We're not really attacking the tanks, but they are of... Uh, in the reserves. Hmm. So, chance of reinforcing front line, 9%. Base value, 2%, plus radio and elastic defense. Interesting. What would be my chance to reinforce? Let's go to a battle or something. So, for their reserves... Oh, they just popped them in. For us, when we get some more divisions... up oh, and no. And then... 70 combat width. They have a 7% chance because of radio. They have a couple more reserves attacking. I lost a division... And we don't want to get effects of industrial plush, so be it. Alright, not bad. You want to attack, that just means we will fulfill your attack priorities. Very good, very good. Just a slow, friendly push into what was Poland at one point in history. One time in history. Help them attack, help them attack. They got a lot of divisions here. Nope, we didn't win that battle, that's alright. Things happen. Romania, do you have any manpower? I'm sure you do at this point. Appoint pro-axis government. Well, that's probably not going to last very long, not going to lie. Uh, let's see. Let's attack somewhere that we haven't been to in a while, like Germany. Ah, Prussia. I love Prussia. Preussen's Gloria. Except in this playthrough where Prussia must die. Let you guys stop the attack. Let you guys continue going on, even though they are actually beating us back pretty, pretty well, actually. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty strong around there. Uh, let's see. We definitely need to attack here. Take a couple divisions, a couple boys. Me and the boys are attacking a couple of Hungarian-Mexican lines. That's weird. Hungarian and Mexican. Alright, we're not still winning here. Hmm. Got a lot of reserves. We got a couple extra free dockyards. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our destroyer. I love putting depth charges on these boys. I heard torpedoes, though, are actually really good. Ooh, this is not going to be a good destroyer yet. Oh, yeah, that's a garbage destroyer. Just save it for now, but I'm not actually going to make them... Uh, I guess we can upgrade them later. Go to Leningrad. And if you get any more things, do this one. Wait. Synarchist Mexico, Synarchist Mexico declared war on Japan, on Me Germany. What the? Um, all right, cool. So we're not at war with Japan, right? Oh, um, I really hope we aren't. I don't think we are, right? Japan's called Peru as our enemy. Uh, um, let's see. We are at war with... We are at war with Japan. Okay. Well then. Synarchist Mexico. What the hell did you just do to me? Or Mexican Junta. Junta. Okay then. I guess... Well, might as well attack them while we can, right? <laughs> oh, go and hold on. Do that. Go right ahead. Well, what if I told you to go crazy? There you go. Now we're in a two-front war. This is not good. But something tells me I think we've got the Axis in a worse position than we started with. Tanks? We're doing much better on heavy tanks, thank the lord. Uh, we need somewhere to attack, though. We definitely need somewhere to break through. Take all but you two. Attack there. Take half of y'all. Attack there. We don't have air superiority or, or really any air cover over here. I mean, I guess eventually we would have gone to war with Japan anyways, but... Don't have any cover over here as well. 
Hmm. Maybe be a little more careful? I don't know. Just go straight there if you can, I suppose. Looks like Manchuko's going to fall, and you know what? At the end of this war, we're probably just going to take Manchuko, so... That'll be good. I'm not going to be too concerned about that war over there just at the moment. I think we've got enough divisions that we should be fine. But we'll definitely see what happens, of course. You guys help attack, attack, and then... Help attack as well. Maybe give you guys a little bit more of a boost. Push him out. Thank you very much. Uh, another division. Great. And Manchuko is looking very scrawny, or scrunched up, it looks like. Which is good for us. Very good for us. Alright, now kick it back up a notch. We need... We want to push him out as fast as we can without them really giving a good response. Mmm, gotta love it. Gotta love it. You know, honestly, I was gonna tell you that I was gonna leave China eventually, like alone, but since I'm probably gonna annex Manchuko, it probably looks like China will have to end up being kind of a proxy war area, kind of like I don't know, Vietnam during our timeline or something like that, or Korea. It's going to be one hell of a divided country. I'll put it like that. Very divided. Uh, support companies. Recon might not be bad. Artillery is pretty good. Tanks? 136 days. Yeah, let's, do it. let's get it so we can get better tanks. You come here. Awesome. I don't need as many uh, divisions now on this side of the world. Oh, another one. Alright, you guys want to move in, maybe? You guys want to have a good time over here? Five. Oh, I did... These are some of the forts I built. Oh, yeah, level five. No wonder we can't win over there. Hmm. All but you two, because you two are extremely damaged. You guys try to attack, as well as you. If we get to Danzig, that'd be great. Looks like we're kind of winning there. That's good. Seven. Take all but two. Attack over the river like a bunch of ding-dongs. And do that if you can. 58. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm, better anti-air. Maybe we should make some anti-air. Toad anti-air. And put you on about five factories. Take a look at this. Let's keep making some more military factories as well now. Bronsk. Very nice. Take about a few of you guys. Take all of you. Attack here again. See what happens. Nothing happens. Oh well. No problemo. And our assault on Japanese held territory has gone a little slower. Level three. No one has upgrades yet. That's fine. Our field marshal is an unyielding defender, just in case things go south. Good to know. Uh, for here, you definitely come over here and then over here. Oh, maybe don't do that yet. I definitely need more divisions to add to the coasts. And if anything, it will probably spawn over here now. Not bad. As long as they don't invade me through Iran, I think we should be okay. We couldn't get Danzig quite yet, but we're pretty close. Pretty darn close. Take half of you guys. Take all of you guys. Attack that way, and send half of you guys over here. Vasily, you got anything? No? God dang it. Come on, man. And currently we are making Toad Antier with no one in mind. Nice. Double bonus for Naval Doctrine. Great. Next up we will do State of Perpetual Warfare. Sure, why not? We might just need it. Alright. Hmm... Keep pushing him in. Nice. This is looking like not very good. Uh, I really hate fighting on two fronts. It's because it just dis kind of distracts me where I really need to put all my efforts. I'd rather just focus on one side at a time. But you know, sometimes you can't help it. Uh, let's get some more research speed, or construction speed, I mean. That would be kind of nice. And as much as I want to do naval doctrine stuff, I recognize that air superiority is probably for the probably better. Hey guys, if you can attack, you probably should. 
Yeah, I mean, they're still going, kind of. Death charge mortars, good. Tor oh, we have to do torpedoes. We can wait on this. This, uh, sonar, we... Mmm. Mmm, yeah, let's do sonar. I'll probably put sonars on my s destroyers. Because... I'm gonna have light cruisers for radar. Oh, and I, I forgot our ally was Siam, and they're helping me take out Japanese-held Southeast Asia. Great. Good, 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 good. Oh, it looks like, uh, well, it looks like the D-Day invasion is kind of getting pushed back when they opened up another D-Day spot over here. Brittany, um, uh, invasion. Now it's better in engineer companies. What next? Torpedoes. I need better torpedoes. Definitely have to have better torpedoes. Torpedoes? Torpedoes. Again, try if you can come over here. If you can't, you know, so be it. We'll do our best. But the Germans have definitely set up one heck of a defense right now. Six Hungarian divisions defending. Hmm. This is... Ah, this is still the territory I think I took from Germany or Poland, you could say. Good. Very good. And we made it over the river, which is great. So you guys start attacking. Followed up with you guys doing that. And I know I'm completely ignoring the Eastern Front. But we were in this front before beforehand, so I think this takes a little bit more precedence. And defensively, I think we'll be okay here. Honestly, I don't think, I don't expect too many problems. What if I did this and told you to go right ahead? Would that be a bad idea? Well, overall, there's a lot of green, but some red on the right. Just push the Japanese out if you can. <clears throat> Ah, uh, gotta love coffee. <coughs> Except when it goes down the wrong hole. <clears throat> so the Japanese, they've lost most of their men to the British Raj. And we've supplanted the Dutch East Indies in terms of casualties with about 44,000. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it looks like we just got rid of some more. Great. Do, though, I do need to keep in mind supplies. Because now we're on a two-front war. And I want to make sure I don't run out of guns. Or artillery or anything like that. Those things are kind of important. Uh, maybe take cap. Some of you, few of you guys over there. Good, 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 good. Uh, here, ten divisions. Well, meet a couple more divisions than just ten. I will add in the anti-air once we get a good number of them. Right now we have about thirty in stockpile, which isn't bad actually. That's a little better than I thought, but still, I'm gonna wait. Eastern Front. We are definitely getting into Korea. And we've surrounded another Japanese division in which it has expired. Because of us. Oh, we got a little bit of political power. Nice. Hmm, let's see. Currently, we have 5% or so total po population. I was thinking about going to total mobilization. It does lower the amount of population you can use, but... Eh, it's alright. Let's see... We don't need him anymore. We don't need Boris. Nuclear scientist, air warfare, rocket scientist. Eh, those guys are all right, I suppose. Can't do this because we are communist. We can do this. Order above all. A little bit less stability. You know what? Let's go do improved worker conditions. Even though we've got a lot of guys fighting on the front, we can still improve worker conditions and, you know, make everyone a little bit more happy. Cool. Great. Awesome. Do that. Send about half you guys this way as well. Then send all of you guys this way. And those who are not attacking, yeah, they come this way too. Keep the pressure up on the Germans. Don't make sure, just make sure that they do not get enough time to reorganize themselves. That would not be very good for us. Over a river. Not the worst idea I've ever had. Good. And what I'm going to do, actually... Since we have a few starter divisions... Oh, you don't have... Logistic companies doesn't really affect your soft attack. But we might be able to give them anti-air, which gives them... Oh, wait. Now soft attack went down to three and a half. Wait. What happened? I might be going crazy, but earlier it said... Soft attack goes up by plus 50. But having more anti-air regardless is still good if they're trying to... If the enemies are bombing the hell out of me. Usually I don't ever use anti-air, but you know what? Let's use it. 
We'll see what happens with these guys. Right now, we have a deficit of 200 anti-air pieces, and I will end episode very soon because I forgot that, yeah, I said you guys, told you guys earlier that I made a mistake uh, forgetting to set my stopwatch. So you guys got... Oh, you're not injured. You're just missing the anti-air. All right, well, darn. I was hoping for the plus 50 soft attack because that'd be freaking amazing. We cut off the Japanese. Oh, my goodness. That's actually a little dangerous. So, yeah... Because you guys, yourselves, might get cut off. We're doing better than I definitely expected in Japanese held territory. Portugal is actually our ally, and they have been going from their territory through Japan, or Japanese held China. Siam's doing a great job, and... Oh. Portugal, what are you doing? Are you... A Please don't tell me the Portuguese declared war on the British Raj. Uh, I don't see it, but, oh, that's pretty bad if they do. Anyways, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. The Belgian Congo looks absolutely disgusting. But, that's pretty much all we've got. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. America is 58% communist, and I will see you tomorrow as we are currently defending against a massive Axis assault. Thanks for watching.